everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today um i am bringing a review to you all for a very popular brand i'm pretty sure you've heard of them and seen them on instagram but i will be reviewing today products from the crayon case so if you are not familiar with the crayon case it was started by Super Sense, who is on um, Instagram. She's also had Vine videos. She does the cooking videos. But this is her line, um, the crayon case. And she started it as a beginner-friendly makeup line, but MUA is everywhere are using it. And, I mean, it's great. I have two of the eyeshadow palettes from her line. I have the Ross Sauce palette, which is no longer available, unfortunately, because it's an amazing palette. And I also have the um, Watch Me Blush palette. Both of those palettes are great. They're pigmented. They're easy to blend. They have a great balance of matte and shimmer shadows. And you really, you get your money's worth from those palettes. You can do a whole eye look with one of those palettes. The Watch Me Blush palette. It has a color that can possibly be used as a contour color. It has colors that can be used as highlight colors. Um, the Raw Sauce palette, I want to say that there is a color in there that can be used as a blush and possibly a highlight. Don't quote me on that. Either way, the palette is amazing. But I am not here to review those palettes, although I possibly will be doing a review on them, swatching them, just giving you ideas what the colors are like. And seeing how pigmented they are today I am reviewing some new products that I recently got from the brands that I have never tried and that is the lip products so I have the hall pass collection lip glosses and I also have the coloring pencils which are the lip liners of the line and I also have one tool product which is a brush cleaner so I'm gonna jump right in and I want to show you guys the bl brush cleaner so this is what the brush cleaner looks like you see the crayon case logo on there and fortunately enough i have been able to use this product so i will tell you all it is amazing it works if you're one of those people that does not have a whole lot of eye um, brushes and you're trying to do complicated eye looks this is amazing so what you're supposed to do with it is you're just supposed to glide the eyeshadow brush against the black sponge that's in here. Now, what is so amazing about this black sponge is that you can take it out of the container. You can wash it, let it air dry, and you can use it again and again and again. I want to say this was $5 on the website. Great buy. So, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's just a black sponge, and I'll pull it out for you. That's what it looks like. But it's in this container, and you can flip it. Now I'm going to put it in there and I have an eyeshadow brush here. It is pretty dirty. It's got some purple shadow in it. I don't know if you can see the dust coming off of it. That's what my finger looks like after playing in it. It's purple. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take it, put it on here, and we're going to see. I'm going to show y'all how great this product is. Like, Just imagine if you're doing like a complicated look with like purples and blues. And you're like, dang, I don't have another blender brush. I really need that one. Nobody wants to wet their brushes because it takes forever for brushes to dry. And you just want to get the look done then. So you pull this out. You're going to take the brush. And I like to spin it between my fingers and just rub it around. And now, look at that brush. Now, it's not going to clean your brush. Your brush is not going to be clean. But the object of it is... That now, nothing's coming off that brush. I can dip into another color. And the pigment that was on there from the previous eyeshadow is not going to come off. Look at that. That's a clean brush. It was purple product on that brush. Remember? That's what my finger looks like. Not anymore. It's clean. Again, it's not 100% clean. What it does is it's taking that pigment off, so now you can dip this brush into another color. Again, if you're one of those girls that's starting out in makeup and you don't have all the brushes, this is perfect. So, we're going to try it again. So, I have this brush. Got pink pigment on it. Pink shadow. Okay. 
I'm gonna take it and dip it in our brush cleaner. See that? You see it coming off? Just gonna roll it around on there. Rolling it. Again, the object is not to clean the brush. It is to get that pigment off. And I can dip this. Nothing's coming off. I can dip this in another. It's, it's coming off. I can dip this in another color. And I can use it. I can put it right back on. I can use it again. So let's try one more brush. Got this brush. Okay. I'm going to dip this in my brush cleaner. I mean, again, y'all, best $5 ever. The thing is reusable. You're going to get your money's worth out of it. And if you're doing looks and you just don't have enough brushes for the look, this is a good investment. Again, the brush is not going to be totally, absolutely clean. The goal is to get that color, that pigment off. And now I can dip this brush in another color without the colors transferring onto each other. So don't think that you're going to be able to skip washing your brushes. I'm not telling you to do that. What I'm saying is, if you're a girl starting out in makeup, you only have limited brushes, trying to do an eye look, don't have time. I mean, you want to get the look done. You don't have time to go wash your brushes for them to dry. Pick this up from the Crayon Case website, $5 sponge. You can remove it, reuse this bad boy over and over again. I'm so sorry, excuse me. So I think this is definitely worth picking up. Next thing, we're gonna move into the lip products. And I want you all to know that I have been using these. I have literally used every single color um, since I got these and I've had them for about a week I want to say now and I've used all the colors and I love them so this is the Hall Pass collection just get them held up here this is four lip glosses this is the packaging before I take them out of the boxes, I can see. So you get all six, well, excuse me, all four of the glosses for $20. And I am going to go ahead and take, shout out to Neutrogena, best makeup wipes, gets everything off. I'm going to take a makeup wipe here. I'm going to take off. The lip color I have. Coming off. See? Take my lip color off. And I'm going to try these glosses on for y'all. Woo! Let me dry my lips. Get a little pep down. Okay. So my lip color is fully off. Fresh lips. So this is the first gloss. Again, these are glosses. <laughs> and the first color that I have here is Pecan Poppin'. And this is a nice brown nudie color. This is what they look like. Out of the packaging. Very pretty packaging. So I'm just going to open it up for you. I want you to go ahead and take a look at the applicator. I love it. Flat little applicator. So again, this is Pecan Poppin'. I'm going to swatch the first one right here on the back of my hand. That is what it's looking like. A nice nudie brown. And again, this is a gloss. It's picking up the shine because it is a gloss. But look how pigmented that gloss is. It's a gloss, y'all. It's not a liquid lipstick. It is a gloss. So I'm going to put some on here. On my lip. And my mirror is right in front of me. So look at my mirror and put it on. I 
but I love the applicator. So that is pecan popping on my lips. I love it. See that shine? And it's not sticky. Like, I don't have that sticky feel that you can get from glosses sometimes. Let me back up. That is the gloss. Again, this is the color on my hand swatched. Pecan popping. And that's on the lips. Very soft. These last. Like, these are not one of those glosses that's just coming off of the lips. They are on there. They're lasting. So, next. Wipe this one off. Ugh. Uh, and we're going to dry our lips from that. Okay. Next up, we have Clean Kisses. And Clean Kisses is an even lighter color nude. That's what it looks like out of the packaging. Love, love the packaging. Um, again, same applicator. And I will swatch this one on the back of my hand for you all. This is a very nude. It's a light nude. That's what it's looking like. It's a very light that's I mean I'm in natural light right now it's a very light nude it is a gloss again look how pigmented that is to be a gloss and I'm gonna try this one on for you all clean kisses and I'm just don't mind me on looking in my ear it's not gonna be perfect I just want to get y'all an idea of what it looks like. So, clean kisses. That is clean kisses on my lips. Again, it's not sticking. Not giving me a sticky feel. It feels very light on my lips. But it has like a little hint of color, even though it's a gloss. And again, that is Clean Kisses swatched on the hand. Okay. We'll wipe this one off. And then we will jump into the last two. So we got two nude colors. A darker color nude. And then... A light nude next we're gonna jump into some pinks the next one is soft twerk this is the darker pink of the two this is what soft twerk looks like out of the packaging I'll pull it out and let you guys see the applicator And let me swatch it on my hand for you all. And I'm swatching soft twerk. That is what soft twerk looks like. And again, I just want to say, this is a lip gloss. This is not a liquid lipstick. But look how pigmented that is. That is, I mean, look at that shine that's coming off of that. And I almost want to say, it kind of reminds me of the same texture as the, um... Liquid latex from Too Faced. So I'm gonna hook this on my lip. And again, I'm just looking up here in my mirror, but this is soft twerk. Not gonna be perfect, y'all, but I just want y'all to get into how it looks on the lips. That is soft twerk on my lips. Very pigmented.
love it it's still soft it's not sticky it's very light on my lips i'm not feeling like i'm getting like the extra oiliness it's just really soft and again that is it swatched on my hand soft twerk lips and the last lip gloss we have doing the job that I have um I don't always get to wear like bold color lipsticks so it is very nice to find a lip gloss that gives me like a little pop of color so last but not least we have Miss Private Party and that is what she looks like. I don't want you to get this color confused with um, Clean Kisses because this is a pink color. This is not a nude. This is a pale pink. And again, I'm going to let you all see the applicator which is flat. I love it. It gets all around my lips. I'll go ahead and swatch Private Party for you all. That is Private Party. She is a light pink. Again, pulling up glossy in that natural light. But that is Private Party. She's a very pale pink. So I will get her on my lips. Not gonna be perfect, but I just want y'all to get the gist of what we're working with here. So that is Hobbit Party on the lips. She is very pale pink. I will say this is the most clear color of them all. She's giving me a little bit of something, but not too much. And she is just as soft as the other ones. So again, this is Private Party on my lips. And then that is Private Party swatched on my hand. And I'm going to keep Private Party on as we move on to the actual color pencils and this is the packaging that they come in these are 10 bucks and for 10 bucks i believe you get six pencils that you can also pair with your lip glosses so we're gonna get into them i'm just gonna swatch all of them on my hand so y'all can see them they are creamy i hate when i get a lip pencil that i have to like press down extra hard just to get some color payoff so these are worth the buy just from how soft they are they just glide on and I'm just gonna, I'm just putting all of them on my hand here. I'm not gonna try all of these colored pencils on for y'all, but I will put them all on my hand just so you can get an idea of the colors. Um, my favorite lately has been the nudist. I've been putting her on a lot. But I'm just swatching them all and then I will point to them and let you all have a look so the first pencil that i have on and this is what the pencils look like they have their name on them sorry <laughs> their name the color is on them so the first one we have is miss plum this is miss plum swatched here miss plum mm-hmm after plum, we have bear that is swatched here. So bear is a dark brown. 
if you are a matte chestnut girl, there you go. After that, we have magenta, magenta, which is swatched right here. It is just like the color says. It is a magenta color. After that, we have black ranked. And that is just a black. They do have um, liquid lipsticks that match to these colors. That is black ranked. And next up, we have my favorite out of the whole collection, which is nudist. I've been wearing nudist a lot. It is very, it's just it's like it says, it's nude. And she swatched right here. I don't know if you picking her up, but that is nudist. And last but not least, we have coffee. Another one, make a nude brown girl friendly. Use this and that is coffee swatched right there. So this is all six. Pencils, get them for 10 bucks. I think that is a great deal for those. Again, they are extra creamy. They are very soft. Um, I'm liking them. I'm actually going to try a little something real quick. I'm going to try. Oh, I just got colored pencils on my shirt. Um, let's try. The magenta, and I'm gonna try it up under soft work. Let's see. I'm gonna grab a mirror here. Oh, y'all make sure y'all shop AOA. <laughs> I mean, do you see how soft that's starting on my lips? Feel my lips in. I mean, the crayon is so damn soft. It's so soft and pigmented. You can wear this on. Um, Ooh, I like that. So I have magenta on my lips right now. And I'm going to take Miss Soft Twerk and put her on top. And see how we come out. Ooh. Oh. Now, what I like to do is I don't like to stick my wand back in after I didn't contaminate it. I like to just wipe it off a little bit. <laughs> and then I stick her back in. But that is the magenta pencil with Miss Soft Twerk on top. I like that. What do y'all think? Again, extra soft. I love the color. And, I mean, she's popping. 
Love it. So, again, guys, Crayon Case, amazing brand. I say go pick it up. I know they had, like, an amazing sale the other day where they had um, the whole website was 40% off. They don't do that often, um, but that would have been a great time to, like, just pick up everything. Um, literally everything from this brand has, it has not disappointed me. I have thoroughly enjoyed it all. So, again, today we reviewed the liquid, not the liquid lipsticks, I'm sorry. We reviewed the Hall Pass collection um, of the glosses where you get four glosses, 20 bucks. You get two brown color glosses and two pink color glosses. And then I also got the colored pencils, which you get six of these, which is good i mean that's cheaper than buying a matte pencil great quality and then also the brush cleaner this is for anybody they're doing looks need to switch between brushes it's gonna get the color off we tried it on the three brushes that i had i mean you're good you swoop, swoop, swoop on here and you can move on to the next shadow not worry about your colors mix them with each other and uh the good thing about it is got the sponge in there you pull it out reusable so, thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Please go check out the Crayon Case. I will link the website below. Please support black owned businesses. Super is great. Um, I think you should absolutely subscribe to her Instagram account and to the Crayon Case Instagram account. And um, definitely go support her because her products are worth every single penny. So, thank you again. Let me know if you all have shopped at the Crayon Case before and what your experience has been like. And join me next time. Hopefully, I'll be putting up some cooking some cooking type stuff. And I'm going to be reviewing some natural hair care products that I've been using lately. As you can see, I am rocking my natural. I do got just a little bit of a curl batter. Um, just a little bit of something I'm, doing, I'm dealing with. Just a little bit. Um... But I'm trying, I'm working on it. So I would love to review those products with you all. But thank you so much for tuning in. Bye, you guys. Have a great night.